we're in a place called Pai Mogo in uh, Loringa. In this place, it was found in 1991, uh, a large dinosaur nest with over a hundred eggs. That nest belonged to a carnivore called Loringenosaurus, found only in Portugal. At the time, it was the oldest dinosaur nest known from the late Jurassic with about 150 million years. Put that in perspective, probably we know around 1,500 species of dinosaurs and only of 20-something we know the embryos. And two of those come from Lurinha. This is amazing. It's so rare to find a single embryo and in Lurinha there are plenty. This discovery launched Lurinha in the international landscape of paleontology. We had the perfect landscape for dinosaurs to feed herbivores and carnivores, a very dynamic ecosystem and a very dynamic geological background so that they could fossilize here and be preserved for 150 million years until we find them. The abundance of remains by a square meter of outcrop is, is amazing. Decidimos vir aqui para a Praia do Canissal procurar fósseis, que haviam duas casquinhas de ovo numa linha d'água. E começámos aqui na encosta a tentar perceber de onde é que elas uh, vinham. Termos tantas casquinhas assim juntas era sinal que teria ali um ninho. The extraction of that nest was a nightmare, <laughs> I would say. We need to build a little path in the cliffs to be able to work safe. We work there using ropes. We dug a very large block which weighed more than a ton. The block was so heavy that the lifter, we thought it was gonna break. It didn't, fortunately, and it was able to safely remove the, the nest and transport it back to the lab. We don't know much about it yet because we are still preparing it, we are still digging it. But right now what we can say is that it's definitely carnivore dinosaur eggs. And what we are doing is exposing them so that the paleontologists can study them. Because this is so fragile and because we are hoping to find embryo bones, we need to dig it super slowly. Besides that, in Lourinhã, we already have two egg nests with embryo bones. We're talking about an animal that has about 10 meters long, and it was the apex predator of this ecosystem in the Lake Jurassic. You have to think that dinosaurs developed for 100 days in the egg, probably, but the bones were only formed in the later stages of embryo development, so it's very difficult for them to fossilize. And this has happened at least twice in Lourinha, from two different species of dinosaurs. Torbosaurus has an eggshell that is very similar to primitive dinosaurs, and Lurinianosaurus has an eggshell that is close to the avian eggshell. The bird eggshell is one of the fastest growing biomaterials in the world, so the innovation is that led to this amazing biomaterial happening in the middle, and they are not so far related. It's like a snapshot of a key evolutive invention, and I think it will have applications in the real world, in the, in the modern world, because understanding how you can build a calcium carbonate so fast has lots of applications for making new materials. There is a, a lot of information there hidden in the rocks of Lourinha, and I'm sure there will be things, finds in the next years. It's a privilege to work here, especially if you grow up uh, dreaming about dinosaurs. For me, it really is an honor to be able to preserve all these fossils for the future generations.